Hey there YouTube, got another package in. I think that this is the tripod that I ordered for the camera, so no more shaky videos. Um, hopefully it works out for me. It's, this will probably be a quick video, it's just going to be the unboxing. And I've never really used a tripod before, um, not for any extended period of time anyway, so I don't really know what I'm looking for so much. Um, but I just thought I'd show you you know, what I ordered and what it looked like when it came in. The box is, you know, not in fantastic shape or anything. But I do really suspect it's a box within a box. I would not expect the tripod to be in a big box like this. Uh, so let's open it up. I'll show you what I got. Okay, so there's some extra packing, extra packing paper in there. Not a huge amount. So there we go, box within a box. This box is still damaged though. <laughs> see right there. So, it's a Vista Explorer tripod by Davidson Sanford. It's 60 inches. Very lightweight, as it says on here. And it's got a 10 year warranty. Let's see if there's any, anything else. Bonus tripod bag included, so that's pretty cool. That's what it should look like. Sorry for the light, I'm in my garage. Getting the tripod. That's what the, I guess the base of it looks like without a camera on it. And one of the things I was really looking for, um, you know, in the tripod was I wanted something that really it could pivot almost like it was on a ball on the top. I'm not sure if that's what this does. Um, and I'm also not sure if every tripod in the world already does that. So, again, I'm just not that familiar with this stuff. So nothing else in the box in the bag which is pretty nice and sleek really I mean that's really lightweight it's got a drawstring handle here one of these Just one of those ball type, um, like you get with a sleeping bag or something. You squeeze it to release, let it go to let it clamp down. But as far as this package, I mean, once getting out of the box, it doesn't really look like any of this is damaged. It's great. I did buy this off of Amazon, like most things that I order, and I'm pretty sure that I bought this for twenty-five dollars, twenty-five or twenty-six dollars, and it had free shipping on it. So I pulled off the bag, wrapped in plastic. 
10. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it maybe to put a cell phone. It's going to be a cell phone adapter. We can see there that would screw on to the actual mount here. Looks like that must be to hold a cell phone. Or for anybody that's using an actual iPod and not a cell phone. Something like that. So, I don't know if you saw this fall off. Some, some kind of little cap that goes right there. Just looks like it pushes on that. Must not have been on there. Shaking loose and shipping or something. Um, so, here you can see. Spins. I mean, basically what I was going for. Um, this obviously, you know, clockwise tightens this, is what it feels like. Counterclockwise loosens it. Alright, lefty loosey. Again, I'm, I'm not sure about what all this stuff is. I'm sure I'll have to mess with it for a while. I don't know what that does. Don't really know what this does. Maybe it's to take this off. Oh, I see here. This piece here is locking on the base. So now it's locked down. Can't take it off. Unlocked. Locked. Do not know what that is though. Have no idea. <laughs> anyway, it did come with. Not quite instructions, I mean, very basic setting up tripod. I guess it's going to tell me on here everything, but hopefully, because again, I just don't know anything about these. Um, it does show, has this little bubble level on top there. Again, sorry for the light. It's hard to see, but with that bubble level on there. Sort of knob here, not it. Looks like this knob is loosening the ability to pivot around. So, don't know what that one is. If anybody knows, sure, let me know about it. Um, looks like this lets it. I don't know what you call that, telescope? I don't know. Pretty cool. It has a handle here. Sorry, I wasn't pointing it. It has a handle. That's nice. That actually clicks and locks in place. That's nice. has these assume these are for extensions here yeah so you can see I extended that up a little and it's nice the, the balls of the feet actually pivot around on a ball um, so to me looking at this I think you'd be able to operate this uh, I mean, obviously not that extreme, but on an unlevel surface, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to use this. Seems like it's nice enough quality. Again, I'm no expert, but seems nice enough. There's a hook down here. Not sure what that's for. Um, maybe if you're really into this stuff, you would have some kind of knowledge as to why maybe you would want a hook. Anyway, 
that's just a quick look at this tripod that I ordered. I'm really satisfied with it for what I'm wanting. Um, if I find anything that makes me not like it, I will um, put it in a video later on. I expect any of this stuff I'm doing the unboxing for at some point, I will probably do a review video. So maybe in a year or so after I've got some experience under my belt, I will do a review of this and let you know if it's missing any features that I think might be needed but for like I said twenty five twenty six dollars I'm ecstatic with this thing it seems great um, hopefully the first time I use it my camera doesn't fall off the top I mean that'd be the only thing that really makes me not like it um, so if you've got any questions or comments or if you know something about this that I'm missing um, like I said at least this one piece I definitely don't know what that's doing but it did come with these brief instructions maybe if I would read them real quick I'd figure it out but for right now I'm not worried about it um, so questions comments whatever you've got um, leave them and give me a like if you're interested in any of these videos I've been putting up I I know I like looking at videos like this I don't know about how I come off personally but <laughs> anyway See you next time.